What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. One of the great things about the Apple iDevices is that they sync seamlessly with your Mac. With one click, you can get all of your contacts, your pictures, photos, and podcasts put right on over to your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. However, there are a lot of other great devices out there, Android in particular, and getting all that information over to your Android device has caused a lot of confusion for people. So I want to show you how to very easily, with just a few steps, Get all of your pictures, contacts, podcasts, music, and everything right on over to your Android device. Let's get started. So we're going to start with music, pictures, and podcasts. It's a very easy process. You need to download a simple piece of free software. Uh, it's from sailing.com. I'll put a link to this down below. You can choose to buy it or download the free version if you decide to purchase it for $22 or 15 uh, euros. Uh, it's going to sync just quicker and uh, have a little bit more functionality, but nothing that I've needed. Uh, the free version works great. One of the nice things about the sailing software is it actually installs itself right up in your menu bar. So let's go ahead and install. Let's say you've already downloaded it. So hit the download button here. I've already got it installed on my computer. And then go ahead and plug in your Android device. In this case, I'm going to be doing all of this testing with a HTC Evo 4G, but it'll work with any Android device. Simply plug it in and select USB mode. Depending on what phone you're using, it should automatically prompt you uh, for how you want to connect it. So I'm going to go ahead and connect mine right now. Uh, if it doesn't say USB mode, you may want to select it as a disk drive. Uh, anyway, it'll get it to mount on your computer. So I just plugged it in, and it's letting me know, hi, I can see that you mounted your device, and it's going to pull up this little menu here, uh, which is going to look pretty similar to iTunes. You can sync all of your music, podcasts, uh, pictures, and photos. And I should mention with music, it is only going to sync your DRM-free music. Uh, so you go ahead and hop into music. It opens up your sort of iTunes-looking library. You can select all of your music, podcasts, or excuse me, music or playlist rather, uh, depending on what you like to do. Uh, podcasts, much the same, go ahead and select whatever podcast that you want. Photos, much the same way, here's my iPhoto library, I can pick whatever photos I want them to sync over, and as I sync them, it'll show me how much room I've got left here. So I've got 6.5 gigs on the Evo, and it'll fill up this bar, much as it will on iTunes, uh, as you sync it over, and you go ahead and hit sync when you have something selected, and it syncs it over nice and easily. And this is a very simple, free way to get almost all of your information on to your Android device. Let's go ahead and say you just did that sync and you can choose the sync from iPhoto, Aperture, wherever you might be. In music, you can go ahead and select back. In summary, you'll sort of pull in a summary of everything. You can choose to automatically sync when it's connected. So let's go ahead and say you just did a sync and you've got all your information there, but you don't have your contacts. When you plug it in, it doesn't ask you to sync your contacts. Uh, well, that is very easy to do as well. Uh, if you're like me and your contacts are stored in address book, there's a very easy way to import those to your Android device. Let me go ahead and open up address book and I will show you. So I've got address book open right here. If you go to uh, the address book in the upper left hand corner and you open up preferences, all right, you're going to want to go ahead and hit accounts and you're going to want to synchronize with Google and go ahead and hit configure. Once you configure, you're going to have an option to select a Google account. Now here is where in the past I've created actually new Google accounts. So you can create uh, user X's contacts. Uh, one of the weird things about Google, if you seek it with your main Gmail account, is every time you send an email to someone, it saves it as a contact. Unless you want all those contacts put onto your phone, uh, it's best to create a fresh account. So you can create one whenever you want. Uh, make a Google account, you know, user X contacts at you know, gmail.com, type in your password, hit OK, and it's going to sync all that for you in just a few minutes up with Google. So the next thing you're going to, going to want to do is actually pretty easy. Let's go ahead and jump to the phone. Okay, so now you've got your music, your podcast, your pictures on your phone, but you can't call anyone because you forgot their phone numbers, you don't have any contacts on here. Let me go ahead and show you how to get your contacts up from your newly created Google account right onto your phone. This is gonna be a pretty similar experience for any Android device you have, regardless of whether it's skinned or not. Here, the Evo has HTC Sense on it, whether you're running a Galaxy S device with TouchWiz, or a Motorola device with Moto Blur, it's gonna be mostly the same process. So go into settings, we'll go into accounts and sync. It might say something different, I'll say you probably account somewhere. Go ahead and hit add account, Google, 
And this is where you're going to input the information for your newly created contact account. And after you create, it's going to give you an option to sync. Uh, sync your contacts, sync your mail, and sync your calendar. Uh, you want it to just sync your contacts. Make sure it's the only way that's selected. And it'll pull in all of your contacts right over the air in just a few minutes. It's a pretty easy and seamless process. Uh, if you are a Google user, it'll be a very familiar experience. It's not going to affect your other Gmail accounts that you may have on your Android device. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the tutorial showing you how to get all your important information from your computer right onto your Android device. If you have any questions or comments, leave it down below. I am John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.